Hi, I'm Carmen Shamas. I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about uh, Tuesday, the 13th of uh, September. Today the moon is in Aries till 11:40 uh, a.m. Universal Time. Then it moves to Taurus to form a, an Earth trine between the uh, between the moon, of course, and the uh, and Venus plus uh, the sun. So this can be a beautiful, gorgeous day if you're uh, Taurus, if you are Virgo. If you're uh, Capricorn, also if you're Cancer, let's say, and um, um, maybe Pisces, yes. So how's it going to be for all signs? Let's start with Aries. Aries with the moon in your sign in the early hours of the morning, you have a great, um, maybe a great advantage over others to get things done as fast maybe faster than others. I think it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous day. Even when the moon moves out to, um, to Taurus, uh, I think you'll still be very, very um, successful and uh, superior in your work if you are careful with what you're doing. Um, planet Jupiter is still in your sign, so I think this can be a beautiful, gorgeous day, especially if you were born on the 26th, 27th of March. Moving to Taurus, Taurus, this is a nice day, but as soon or as um, as soon as the uh, the moon reaches your sign, so that's 11:40 a.m. Universal Time. If you're watching me from America, from the Americas, this means that from early morning the moon would be in Taurus, and it's going to be a beautiful, gorgeous day. So uh, Taurus, I think this can be um, one of the best opportunities for you to make a statement and to make things right and to make things more than perfect you can get anything you want and this beautiful um, wave uh, of great luck will extend uh, also on uh, wednesday and thursday let's move now to gemini gemini with the moon in taurus things are not that easy with the moon in taurus things may be slow with the moon in taurus and the sun in uh, Virgo, things may get complicated. And with Mars in your sign, things may really escalate. So you have to be very careful today, especially if you were born on the 2nd, 3rd, or even 4th of June. So really, you have to be uh, you have to be cautious, you have to be careful, and you have to plan ahead. Things may actually go totally out of sync, may actually go totally wrong. So be careful. Don't risk anything. Let's move now to Cancer. Cancer, I think today is... Um, is uh, a beautiful day. I love the influence of the moon in Aries. I love the influence of the moon in, 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 in Taurus. It seems that these, um, these moons will bring out the best in you. They actually uh, magnify everything beautiful you have. And the trine, the earth trine between the moon and the sun actually will is magnificent, will make everything super, super beautiful. And I think you can be super uh, um, successful and uh, attractive and charming. And people really are like, they, they are charmed by you. So this is a beautiful, gorgeous day. Let's move now to Leo. I like I like it more with the moon in, um, in, uh, in Aries, but it's okay. If the moon moves to Taurus, you have to handle things with care. You have to handle things with intelligence. You have to be smart enough not to make mistakes because this position, uh, lunar position, is in the 10th house, which makes you or puts you under the spotlight, and you don't want that because everything seems to be beautiful, everything seems to be perfect, and you don't want to mess uh, the, the, the good luck waves or vibes away. OK, so uh, you can be very lucky if you were born on the 28th, 29th of July. Let's move now to Virgo. Virgo, this is one of the most beautiful, impressive days. These are beautiful vibes that you will get with the moon in Taurus, the sun in your sign, Venus in your sign, and Pluto forming another trine from Capricorn. This can be a gorgeous winning day, and I think you are one of the most um, superior, you're one of the most um, efficient and um, astoundingly smart people today. So go ahead and amaze us. Planet Venus sends you the best of good luck and great 
uh, waves of success and good luck if you were born uh, between the 1st and the uh, 4th of uh, September. Okay, let's move now to Libra. Libra with the moon in Aries, you may get the chance to look for trouble. So you have to move away from that. Ignore these vibes. The moon in Taurus later on will actually amplify the beauty in you. Everything beautiful will be amplified. Add to it the trine between this um, this uh, moon and the uh, and Venus in Virgo. So I think things will work out to your favor. Everything seems to be quite fine, and you will do well. It's just these vibes that come, that reach you. They're already there since uh, Sunday afternoon. So you have to be careful not to mess, especially mess around. Don't don't mess your uh, your your success story. Not mess it. Not mess with it. Let's move now to Scorpio. Scorpio, this is um, a nice day. Uh, it's okay with the moon in Aries. It's fine. But then when the moon moves to Taurus, you have to be more careful because things may go in different ways and you may not know how they're going, in which direction, and you have then to run uh, left and right to make things right. So I think what you have to do is uh, just act as normal as possible and stay away from conflicts and conflictive people. You don't want that. Things actually may, um, uh, things actually may not be that, um, that, uh, that tiresome, but I think you can, uh, you can move around them, you can maneuver, and I think you can be successful as long as you are patient, okay? with a smile on your face. Let's move now to Sagittarius. Sagittarius, I like this day, it's fine. So you'll be, you're under the spotlight, we know that. The early moon in uh, Aries will help you to move on. Try to make big steps in the morning as long as the moon is in Aries. And when the moon moves to Taurus, you have to make sure that your work or your schedule is well planned because everything is going to be overwhelming and you may need to uh, multitask, multitask. So you have to be really careful. You don't want to uh, get overwhelmed uh, or your energy depleted, okay? Let's move now to Capricorn. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. I love it. I think you're going to enjoy this beautiful Tuesday and everything will turn out by the end of the day or even around midday, everything will turn out to be beautiful and to your liking. Everything will favor you. You're going to be brilliant, wonderful, beautiful. The charm actually oozes out of you. Everybody will notice. Everybody will, will flock around you. So no wonder that people call you, people send you messages. So don't... Uh, don't think it's a nuisance. Um, don't complain. This is a compliment for you from the universe. Enjoy a beautiful, gorgeous day. Let's move now to Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius today is fine, but then it gets less fine when the moon moves to, um, to Taurus because that's when the moon actually starts uh, bugging you. Uh, making you feel a little bit emotional. You don't want that. You don't like that. You prefer to stay neutral, which is fine. But then maybe it's your kid, your child, uh, your family, your parents. Maybe they need something. Maybe it's you who needs to be pampered. So try to be open-minded. Um, uh, there will be better days during this week. So be patient. Uh, don't ruin anything, any relation. Be patient. Don't blame others for making um, noises, loud noises uh, during the day when you're relaxing, whatever. Just try to be more patient. Um, it will be fine. It will pass, okay? Okay, let's move now to Pisces. Pisces, I like the moon in Aries for you. I like the moon in Taurus more for you. So it's going to be a beautiful, encouraging, helpful day. You're going to enjoy this beautiful day. You're going to love this day. And I think this is one of the days where you can actually um, astound us with a big speech, with beautiful um, beautiful verbs, beautiful words, great poetry, beautiful songs. Yeah, I think today you're quite charming, not only um, uh, entertaining, but also very efficient professionally. So today is a beautiful day for Pisces to show off in a beautiful, modest, um, happy way. And you may show great humane uh, 
skills uh, or inclinations, tendencies, and everybody will look up to you. So basically, this is it. Wishing you all a beautiful, gorgeous day. See you. Bye-bye.